Connector Solutions, I'm JJ357. This video is an update video on the IMI Defense Mag. It's in response to Mr. Electric Razor. He uh, asked some good questions. Uh, one, he asked why I felt that uh, the IMI Mag did not work in the LaRue Predator. And he also asked, have I tried it on other rifles? Um, I had a buddy bring his uh, his AR to work, and he's got a Delcon uh, build here with the M4 upper build. But um, in testing this mag with this um, AR, it seems to work fine. When you Pull the bolt back, insert the mag, you can send the bolt home by depressing the paddle. So it seems to work fine on some ARs. I don't know what the factor is and why it works in one and not the other. Alright, here's the IMI mag with rounds in it. So if you're firing and you're empty, remove the mag, throw in a mag with rounds in it. It will send the bolt home. Okay, initially when I started looking into why the IMI mag did not work um, in the Predator, I was thinking it had a lot to do with the amount of area you have to work or the paddle has to work the, the follower. As you can see, there's um, a lot of plastic back here, the mag the housing and then there's very little room to work with in here versus the PMAG versus the PMAG right here and the uh, standard GI mag. Uh, upon further investigation uh, I found that a regular GI mag uh, the follower doesn't take a, the spring tension on the GI mag and the P mag is not it's nowhere near as, as stout and as strong as the IMI mag. And the IMI mag actually takes a little force force to um, get that follower to go down. Um, that on top of the The buffer spring in the LaRue is pretty stout and it puts a lot of tension on the bolt. Um, if you can look in here, you can see here's the, the bolt release, the, the paddle right here. Here's the IMI mag. This is the IMI mag. in the LaRue obviously. Um, the tension of the the buffer spring on the bolt against the uh, the paddle the release and the tension of the IMI mag together makes it incredibly difficult push and engage but if you ah, earlier I got it but this time I'm not I'm sure if I hit it with a hammer it would go but I'm not gonna hit it with a hammer so sorry um, I'm going to let's see if I can I'm gonna get an extra hand in here Jason can you come help me real quick okay so, when I push back 
the bolt. So when I push back the bolt and then depress the paddle on the opposite side, it drops. Can you see that? Let's see. Yeah, it drops the follower down. And then lets the bolt go. So there's less tension on a GI mag. The mag follower, there's less spring tension on the mag follower of the GI mag, so you get it goes fine. P mag. It goes forward just fine. The IMI mag, actually I'm going to get a different IMI mag. This is another one. Much harder. Much harder, but if you relieve a little of the tip bolt tension, So, it's an issue of uh, too much tension on the buffer spring and the IMI mag spring. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty out there.